Malik, congrats on the win. If you can, can you take us through that final sequence uh, when you were just trying to get your shot over Wicks? Uh, yeah, like you just said, man, I was just searching for a little space. Um, I hit him with a little in and out. He he bit for it, um, and that gave me the space to get the little floater up. Um, glass, I guess. <laughs> Go to the bank, man. Yep. No, we was just um, trying to get them scrambling. Um, and whoever got the ball, we 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 uh, faithful, um, and we know who's whoever gets it. We don't care who shoots. So uh, it was just to make them scramble. Malik, we heard De'Aaron say while he was lighting the beam that uh, so many people were fo- focused on the point differential, but you guys were focused on the win. Yeah. So how big is that to get a win against a team that sort of had their thumb on top of your head for a couple of games? There? Yeah, man, it feels good. Uh, can't really celebrate too much. We got a game tomorrow, but um, it was great to get that one um, to 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 cut it to. Uh, two one, um, go back to their place. We got to get one from them um, when we get there, though. But it's great. Feels great to get that win. Malik, uh, a couple guys stepped up, but Sasha came in really in that that second half, fourth quarter especially, and, and had some big minutes for you. I'm just curious what you've seen out of him and and to step up like that. Yeah, he's been a pro for a long time, man. So um, I was never worried about him not playing, then starts playing, then not playing again. So he's been doing this his whole life, um, and especially knocking shots down. But he, he stepped up big on the defensive end, too, for us. So um, it was great for him, but I wasn't surprised. Malik, Kendra Andrews, ESPN, a two-part question for you. The first part, you guys were down 24. Just what was the conversation between you guys? What brought you back from that deficit? Um, we, we didn't give up that many threes um, in the second half. Um, I think they hit five threes in the second half, but they hit 12 in the first. Um, and, that, and that was a big, a big part of it. Um, and then we just slowed Steph and um, Clay down. Um, and and that, that's be the main goal, um, try to let the other guys beat us. But um, we was able to get some stops at the end and, and get the win. The second part of my question, in the, in the fourth quarter, about three minutes in, when Draymond got his tech, then he fouled, they pulled him. That was a, it felt like at least a big momentum shift. Do you definitely. see that as when you guys yeah, were exactly. able to? Yep. Yeah, it definitely was the, the momentum we, we needed um, from them, them slipping up right there. Um, but yeah, we Mike been telling us to stay with it the whole game, um, and something's gonna happen. Um, make the refs make a call, um, and we just stuck with it, stuck with the game plan. Malik, just how much do you enjoy having a moment like that to not only against the Warriors, the twenty four point deficit, but to have that kind of game winner that way in season tournament? Just that moment, how much do you just love that moment? Man, I just love playing basketball, man. So anytime I can step on the court, I'm always happy. But doing that um, in the East season tournament, the first one. Um, it's just great. It brings a lot more energy in this building, um, and I, I think they're going to continue to be loud for us. Malik, in the rankings of the game-winning shots you've had in your career, what does this one rank? Um, I wouldn't really – that's a go-ahead bucket, so I wouldn't count. I only got one game winner. Um, I think that was against Detroit when I was in Charlotte, so that one. Malik, you said glass earlier, but just curious, did you call game when you hit that shot? No, nah, I didn't actually, uh, but game, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, since Trey has come back, he's given you guys some good energy, especially without Keegan out there. Just what does it mean to have him out there, both when it comes to just his energy and his on-court production? Yeah, man, he's a vet. Uh, he's he been playing the game for a long time. He knows um, what's going on out there. He knows what spots to put us in, um, whether it's his voice or him doing stuff on the court. Um, he always helps us out, but it's great to have him back. Um, a big piece. Well, like to be down by 24. I'm sorry. To be down by 24 in this game against this team, given the history, like just, I don't know, what are the emotions? What does it mean to, to the group to, to be able to come back, win this game in, in the fashion that you did? Yeah, um, like I said before, man, it's great to get one back from these guys uh, because they was up 2-0 on us. Uh, it's always good to win. It's always great to get a win in the NBA, man. It's hard to hard to do it, um, especially with a defending champ team. Uh, so, yeah, it's just great to get the win, man. Uh, I can't really dwell too much on it. We got a game tomorrow. So I got to start thinking about that. Malik, you're often regarded as the guy that provides an energy off the bench for the Kings. And it seems like when you get going, it's pretty contagious on the court. How much pride do you take in that being that guy for the Kings? Uh, like I said, I mean, I love playing basketball. So I just take pride going out there, um, knowing it, it might be my last time playing. Um, so can't take anything for granted. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's all I do. Um, put heart into it um, and go out there and give it all my all. Malik, you mentioned Trey, and I saw he pulled you aside with about 50 seconds left. What do he say to you? He told me, um, stop bullshitting. Yeah. I missed a box out with, um, I think it was Wiggs. 
Yeah, then he told me, he told me I got locked in. Malik, was there a, aside from the actual um, stuff that maybe the coaches talked about that they need to change in the game when it came to specific details, was there a motivational speech at halftime and what was said in the locker room to really just change the momentum for you guys in the second half? Um, I wouldn't really say as a motivational speech. Um, it's just Mike being Mike um, and telling us what we need to do a little better. Um, and Yeah, we just picked up, um, we picked up the pressure and it worked for us. Uh, Malik, eight minutes for you in the first half. Um, was there was Mike on you about something? Was there something he wasn't happy with, and and something to um, your second half performance? That ain't my job, man. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't be worried about that. If I get too worried about that, I can't play. Uh, I can't go out there and perform like I did. So um, I just let Mike do what he do. I don't question him. Um, I've been playing ball for several years, so uh, I've been I've been through it up and down. So I'm used to it. <laughs> 